We got us another gun review today. That's right, motherfuckers. Target's up in my sight. I put with some lead on down that pipe. Bullets fly, inhale the smoke. We shoot these guns, it ain't no joke. If you're looking for some gun information, well, you stop at the right place. There ain't no need to look any further. The whiskey drinkers, we got your back, buddy. Whiskey drinkers, gun reviews. Pistol whiskey. This year's Jim Bob. This year's Clint. And we are back with a good review for you. That's right. Do we need to do that part? Yeah, we do. Okay. What, uh, yeah, we don't know what we're we doing. We don't know what we're doing. We drank a little bit. So, uh, what gun do we have for today? That's a little sticky easement off the, uh... Off the what, Jim Bob? Quadcopter thing. You know, like the little, uh, gummy things on the bottom? I think it got too hot in here. Why are we doing this? Jim we Bob, need to cut that big around. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that looks like uh, maybe some got spilt when we were doing shots with Barrett Hackney. Hey, it's round. You remember that? Hey, we're here for a gun video. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, well, what do you got? Let's introduce her right here. Ready? I'm going to pull this out. Remember um, Batman 2, Batman Returns? Yeah, Batman Returns. I think so. With the Joker, or the Penguin. Danny DeVito played the Penguin. Oh, that, yeah. Back yeah. in, like, mid-90s. Yeah. I'm going to pull this out. Oh, no, that was Jack Nicholson. The hell are you talking about? Jack Nicholson played the Joker? Yeah. Okay. Remember at the end, whenever the damn thing's coming out, he pulls out the big long barrel pistol? Sure. Okay. Right here it is. <sighs> wow. Look at that son of a bitch right there. Whew. This here is a Traditions Vortec 50 cal inline muzzle loop. Wow. Inline muzzle That thing looks like a cannon. It kind of is. Now, this is uh, made out of old Saybrook, Connecticut, USA. It's pretty good stuff. But then it says made in Spain by Ardessa. I bet you what it is, is the good parts are made in America. America. In, in Connecticut. And then them crappy parts are made in Spain. Man. That's good possibility. I, I'm not shitting on Spain, Spain people, but you know what I mean. Yeah, now, look right here. Breaks open. That's how it works. Damn. Right there is where you put the uh, the primer thing in. Yeah. And then you unscrew that. And there goes your... Uh, What's that called? Um, um, your primer. No, the yeah. primer is in there. Oh, and your here goes your powder and your bullet. Your yeah, your bullet. And then right here is where your primer goes. I just cleaned this. Never ever point a gun at yourself. Exactly. Never ever. Don't ever ever. Or at your friends. Or or at, or at anybody. Yeah. But I just cleaned this, so I am well aware that there's nothing in here, and you can see the rifle in the barrel, and it still smells like cleaning fluid. Oh yeah. So. Put that back in here. Now, uh, you cleaning that. Should we talk about that later? I was just going to talk about that after we get out of the range with her. Yeah, so uh, this right here is pretty amazing. This it is, is pretty nice. You, you know, you might have seen them Civil War movies and stuff where people were pouring that powder down their thing. This thing, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. It's more compact. It's a great time. You go out there and shoot with it a is. marksmanship rifle. And okay. it even has a safety on the, on the trigger right there. Hell yeah. Now, what's this little thingamadoogie right here? Well, that one there is what breaks the barrel. Oh, that's pretty, pretty yeah, genius. That breaks that open. Now, the scope does not come with it. This rail right here does not come with it. Oh, okay. I must add. I had to order that, and it took me a little bit to find one. A lot of places, for some reason, don't have those in stock. I don't know why. why. But I did find one. It's on there. How much was that? The, the scope? Yeah. Uh, well, the rail itself was like... I think I got it for like seven or eight bucks. Oh, that's not bad. But they... They are usually expected. They're usually like fifteen to fifteen uh, to twenty. You gotta know somebody. So, yeah, you gotta know somebody. It's gotta fall off a truck. Not bullseye. Yeah. It's all here. Um, the scope, the UTC uh, red dot rectangle right here. Uh, let's see if we can Pretty look. nice scope, if you ask me. He has a lot of these scopes. They're Chinese made see. scopes. I can't see through them. I don't know if you can see the green dot in there. You might oh, be able to see my face in there. Don't be looking in there, Joe. Oh, oh. I mean, it's not loaded, but don't be looking in there. Yeah, it's true. You set it back. Yeah, 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 it's true. Yeah. Don't do that, guys. But. It is. Uh, it has the green dot and it has a red dot. You can adjust the brightness of them both. Wow. It's perfect nice, perfect nice, perfect Green nice. and red. So anyways, back to the anyways, gun. Back yeah, yeah. To the gun. So uh, let's get down to the range and shoot to some. Oh, I'm real Oh, by the way, it. this is a 50 cal. This here is like the equivalent to shooting a uh, Desert Eagle. You, you might be able to kill an elephant. In reality. It's uh, 50, tw 50 caliber with a 128 inch. 
Wow, sounds like my four on. All right, let's get to the range. Get down there. All right. Yeah, we're gonna digitally sign off. Shit falling from the sky. Oh, bugs flying everywhere. All right, here, okay, here we go. Down to range. Down to range. Down to range. Your camera's looking at now, Jim. It's kind of. We're like professionals. We are professionals. We're like professionals, because remember, you gotta talk towards the camera. Yeah. Oh, we should start this off differently, like that one guy did. Uh, what did he say in that one video we watched earlier? Hey, guys! Oh, yeah. I'm good. Right? Yeah. This here's Clint. This is Jim. This is Jim Bob. And we're here to teach you um, something. Uh, we're gonna show you, show you more. a cool ass yeah. gun. Yeah, this right here is the uh, Vortec Traditions 50 Cal in line muzzle loader. Oh, yeah. Break some of like that. You can see there's no primer in here, so there's no chance of anything happening. Screw this some out here, and it's a long screw. You can see it right through the barrel. I see you. Oh, you're gonna have I to be you. editing this shit. All right. Yeah, problem. All right. Um. So, anyways, we are going to see how well that this here opens up fruit. That's right. Now, we picked a couple different fruits because we have a theme. Or a the not a theme, a theory. 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 Quit looking at that damn camera. Just look. Well, that's a new one. It's pretty. Right. It's small and compact. It's, right. it's ladylike. So, where was that? Now? Yeah. Um, damn it, we're going to show you something. Fruit. 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 Not like the fruit, like. Fruit. <laughs> yeah. Different fruit. But the fruit is, yeah, you know. Now, broke out the trusty watermelon here. These damn cameras. My damn oh, 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 oh. It needs to. So we got the trusty watermelon. We know what it does with guns, but let's see what it does to a 50 cal. Fucking phone. Phone drinking. We're so 50 Yeah, a little bit. 50 cal inline, that is. What the hell is I'm not even on the camera. We should we fucking do this. Second, yeah, you are. That's a big shot. Yeah, I got oh, you. Oh, I fucking hate myself. I got you. Then we got Ow. coconut. Because coconut is pretty hard. Kind of like a human skull. Also, if you put the lime in the coconut. And you shake it all up. Something happens. So, and that kind of looks like a face right there. It, it does. Looks like a creepy face. It does. See the creepy face? See the creepy face? Let's see what There's water in there. Oh, yeah. We're going to be sipping that water in no time. <laughs> water. <laughs> all right. And then last but not least, ow, I stabbed myself with the bottom of it. I got myself a theory here. Oh, get me. About the pineapple. Got a theory about the pineapple. Oh, let's see if we got a tag on it. Looks like a, a tire, Fifi. tire company. Fifi's. Isn't a Fifi something else? It's something you have sex with in prison. That's what I thought. Yeah. Now, my theory with the pineapple is it's kind of skull like. It's kind of. It is. Losing the chip. It's probably the most like a human skull that yeah. you can get. Hard. Well, well that's glass. Yeah, see? Sounds exactly the same. It's even liquid. I bet you it's hollow inside, too. Well, oh, there's yeah. liquid inside of it. Trust me, there's stuff in there. Well, wow. Yeah. So, we're going to see. Well, we're going to see what a 50 cal inline <laughs> does to its fruit. And uh, it's also kind of an impact test. Now, we're only going to shoot this with one powder pellet in it. How many can you shoot it with? One. Wow. We got it shot in, went through maybe, uh, I don't know. Like five rounds. Five, between right five there. and seven rounds. We got scope lined up. That is a, uh, what kind of scope is it? This, uh, uh, this is a UTG. UTG red dot optical scope. Um, so we got all ready. We're going to load some of up. We're going to shoot us. Oh, shit. Oh. My phone was calling. Sorry. What was calling or somebody calling? I'm you? calling somebody in my damn pocket. I'm not prepared. It's what happens. We are not the most professional. All right, Jim Bob, let's right, get to it. Let's do it. All right. All right, now, what we got here are the three, four things you need to load one of these. <laughs> Which I don't think you could see, but... No, you will once you I will. move. Um, now, we have to apologize first and foremost because Bill, the son of a bitch lives down next door to us. Oh. Um, you hear him? I hate him. You hear him back here. With right his got damn, chainsaw. damn chainsaw. He knows we're filming. He, he does this shit intentionally when we're filming. That's why we hate Bill. I don't know why he does it. All right, so right here we got the bullet. Right here. That's a bullet. That's a bullet right there. This camera can see that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then 
this here is, it don't matter. is a sleeve thingy. Yeah. That the bullet goes in. Very crucial part of it. Just like that. We think. It's it's called a uh, uh, um, well the bullet is a uh, patented flex tip with uh, surgical accuracy. And uh, what the oh a sabot. A sabot. The oh, plastic yeah. thing is a sabot. Oh yeah. Kind of like a suppository, but yeah, no. This is 50 caliber. God damn Bill and that chainsaw. Hey Bill! Knock it off, Bill! Trying to do shit up here, huh? We'll go down there here in a little kick bit. His ass. Kick his ass. Now right here we got a single stick of powder. This is black powder. Um, it is the uh triple seven. 100 preform pellet 50-50s. Now that is put, to, that is pressed together. Yeah. Gives you a lot of powder just in a little tiny thing. This is a 450 caliber in lines, and this is 50 grains. 50 grain volume equivalent, whatever the hell that. But you can use three of them in this gun That's if right. you want to. And then we got the, uh, the primers. 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 These are shot prim shot shell primers. These are uh, number 209s. Don't know what that means. Oh, pop the primer up there. But what we do know is whenever the thing, uh, the hammer hits them. Motherfuckers explode, That's bam, right. shoots the bullet out. Now this here, six ninety nine for a uh, hundred of, I think. Hundred primers. This here is uh, seventeen ninety nine. This is for twenty of these sons of bitches, and they're two hundred fifty grain, fifty cal. This is around the same price, maybe. I don't know. And these here, uh, thirty two ninety nine. Damn. For one hundred powder pellets. Now typically, typically you'd be shooting one. Pellets per shot. Yeah. So you only really get 50 rounds in a box. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. But we're a little conservative on a conservative level, if you will. Yeah. So we're only shooting one. We vote conservative. We and, live conservative. And we're scared of the kick. All right, let's load it. All right, let's do it. All right, now this is how you load one of these sons of bitches. First thing you do, little button right here, push it, breaks it open. Pretty simple, right? Oh, yeah. Self explanatory. Take your powder. Drop it down the barrel like that. Down the hole it goes. Take this thing, pop it out. Take your bullet, put it in the end, push that something but you. Now, one thing we've been noticing is that after you shoot this thing like two once, yeah, not even twice, yeah, once, two, one time. you gotta run a cleaning rod through it. Uh, what you got right here? Just a wire brush on You gotta run this something but you because these things are dirty as hell. That thing's pretty dirty from cleaning it. That's right. So now, you got that, you got to take your little right ramrod here. I think that's what we call a ramrod. Ramrod. Put it on the tip there. Ram it down in there. Push it down. Just real hard. These some bitches don't go in too easy after you've shot it once. So what I've been doing is using the quad, put it side by side. It has a little pusher thing in here. And it's supposed to be straight. Now being that there's not a primer in here, you're not going to blow yourself up. You want to wait to put that primer in until the end and you make sure your bullets are in the right place. Uh, wow. Alright, now that it's in there, take it back out. There. Take your primer. Put your primer right in the back end there. In the primer hole. In the primer hole right there. And then, you ready to cock the hammer and shoot the bitch. Now it's active right now. Alright. Now, we got us a little fancy rest here. Hold that, Jimbo. We got us this fancy rest right here. This thing is uh, a lot of money, very expensive, so you gotta be delicate with it. Exactly. All right, let's shoot some shit. Safety first. Always have your damn headphones, earmuffs, whatever they're called. Well, drinking first, safety second. Yeah, something like that. Got the glasses, recording you, recording me. All right. Hold that probably be a black hat. Be careful. Alright, you ready, Jimbo? I'm ready. Alright, got the hammer back. Okay. Send this thing to hell. Alright, fire in the hole. Wow. Wow. Time for some damage inspection. Yep. All right, now, after I had the shot and the smoke cleared, I didn't even think I hit the damn thing. Nope. As it turns out, God damn it. Bill is now not running a chainsaw, but now he's running a tractor. I fucking hate that guy. And his damn boy, that little fucking RJ. 
is running the damn quad. I fucking hate RJ. Now they know we're trying to fucking do shit. They do this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right. Jim Bob, show them what we got. All right. Well, right here, Bill, he went right mm. into here. We got a nice little hole. We'll blur that out. About my whole finger sticks in there. And then right we spin around. it around. Oh, it did a number. Bam. It did a wow. number. That is like throwing a rock through a window. Just break it in the middle kind of pieces. Or throwing a hot dog down a hole. It is. And you know what that's referring to. And you know I could stick my whole hand in there. Oh, that's so disgusting. I'm done. Mm. Oh, fucking good. Watermelon. Ready, Jim Bob? I'm ready. Ready? Yep. Fire the hole. <laughs> Holy well, shit! I think it's safe to say we hit it. I think we did. It disappeared. Yeah, it did. It created us a magic act. Yeah, we did. Well, let's reveal the magic. Well, let me pull it out of my butt. Oh, man, wow. There's a, there ain't too much left of it. Yep, turn that into pieces. Oh, oh it's all nasty. Pretty, uh, impressed with it. Pretty good. All right. Rocks. One more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Coconut. All right. Last one here. Pineapple. Pineapple Express. You ready, Jim Bob? I'm ready. All right. Pineapple Express. Ready? Yep. All right. And I think you missed it. I think I did too. I can't have missed it. Well, maybe it's just so hard it bounced the bullet off. No, you couldn't yeah. have missed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how did I miss that? There we go. Oh, bitch. I don't cut ever miss out. shit. Uber tell like you made it. Fucking bullshit. That's what it is right there. Now, as he's loading this, let me explain. It's not so quick to load up your bullets. It takes a little while, you know. Um, so you gotta load each part of the bullet and stuff like that. So, you know, that's one downfall, I guess, of the gun. Unless maybe you like doing that or something. I don't know. Probably don't want to use this for uh, home safety. Might get one shut off, miss the guy. Not to give you able to have time to get another one off. What's bullshit, Jim Bob? I don't miss. Hit a damn coconut, can't hit a goddamn whatever that thing is, pineapple. I think everybody that watches our videos know that you have never missed. This is the ever. first time you've ever missed. Ever. Which I ever, ever. I don't think you actually missed. I think the pineapple, you hit a weird spot of it and it bounced the bullet off. Damn bullshit. Ready? Ready. Oh! You nicked her. I nicked it. All right, now at first, I was petrified. I don't know the rest. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know the rest of the song either. But you were, yeah, because you thought you didn't hit it. But I'm staying alive. So, yes. Upon further inspection, you can see. Oh, wait for it. I wow. Think, uh, I think we took care of it. Now let me show you right here. I think we made some. Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh, be careful with it. Here's the entry of the bullet, as you can see, right here. There. And then it blew back here and it went boosh and it took the rest of its fucking head off yep so that just goes to show that the exit hole in this is a mean some bitch Whew. all right all right pineapple oh damn um, 
A little mushy. A little mushy. All right. We're good? We're ready. Get your headphones on. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you going to tell them what this is? All right. This is two powder pellets. I was a little nervous. Didn't want to do it. Went and had myself a couple drinks. Couple. Now I'm all right. All right. You ready, right. Jim Bob? I'm ready. Am I ready? Good luck. Thank you. Fire hole. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Kind of scared. Yeah. That was like a cannon. Yeah. That, was. <laughs> that fucker had a kick. Oh, damn it. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> it's got mud all over my shit. Um, I'm not gonna lie, two pellets scared the shit out of me. So now three pellets. Let's go. Oh no, no. All right. Here we go. Woo! Oh, mercy. What's the matter here? Ah. Take the safety off. I didn't even know it had one. Look at all the shit Yeah. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Alright, so that was a lot of fun. That was, that was a surprising amount of fun. We blew the shit out of that fruit. Uh, well, let's start off with number one. First thing we shot there was the water off. Yeah. Now, from where we were shooting, what was we shooting? Probably... 100, 100 miles. No, 100 feet. Like, 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 those, uh, <laughs> like a football field, probably. Like 30 feet. Yeah, yeah something like, like 30 feet. A little bit more. But. Um, and from 30 feet, you could see the entrance hole, which was about the size of your finger, as Jim Bob <laughs> delicately showed us. <laughs> exactly. Um, but the exit hole. Oh, man. The exit hole was I mean, now, in a watermelon like that, it just kind of splits the rind a little yep. bit. But, I mean, you could, there was a lot of force coming out of it. Imagine if that was a zombie's head. Oh, yeah. Or some intruder or a dog trying to attack you or a bear in the woods. Whew. Very true. Now, I remind you, you only got one shot, so you got to make it count. That's true. Now, with the um, coconut. Yeah, coconut. Um, it was a harder shell. Yep. So it was a lot harder. Denser. Yeah. It kind of a lot more to... When it hits it, it explodes rather than... Yeah, think about it like a plastic bottle. You hit a plastic bottle, it just kind of dents and folds. Yeah. But you hit a glass bottle, it shatters. And that's kind of what the same principle was there with coconut. Yep. It was something hard. It had that hard husk to it, so it just disintegrated. Man. It's pieces. I mean, that that surprised both of us really. It did. It really did. And that would compare to like a little zombie monkey's head? Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, so if you're, you know, in um, a Brazil, rabbit squirrel, where there's crazed zombie monkeys chasing you. In Brazil? Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I have heard about it. In the Brazilian that. jungles. Yeah, oh, they're crazy. The zombie monkeys. Yep. Happens. Yeah, 50 caliber might be a little bit too insane for killing a monkey, but hey. But hey, you gotta get the job done. And you gotta get it done right. Don't kill monkeys also. Just kill the rabid ones that are trying to attack you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Only kill things that are trying to kill you. Exactly. And lastly, the um, pineapple. Yeah. I had a theory about the pineapple, yeah. and it proved to be exactly what I thought. Yep. So you will see more pineapples on this show. Exactly. Um... Entrance hole about the same, about the size of a sharpie. Yeah. Or a finger. And uh exit hole was about that big around. I'd say. I'd say maybe a little bigger, maybe a little smaller, but big bigger. ass hole. Enough that you could put your fist easily through. <laughs> Fucking right. I mean shit. Yeah, well that's crazy. Now, something I wanted to ask you is a fifty caliber, whatever it's called, a normal fifty caliber bullet, how does it compare to this? Have you ever shot one? I never shot. No, first time. First time I ever shot. Oh. Anyway. I have an inline rifle. It's the same, pretty much the same gun, just a rifle. That's pretty cool. I never shot. So we'll have to do a video on that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I haven't shot that damn thing yet. But that's essentially the pistol version of it. And it's pretty damn fun. That is pretty fun. 
Something I learned about this too was uh, being my first time ever really getting into inlines here. Whenever you shoot a regular pistol, you just point and click. Yeah, you just pull the trigger, and it's fun. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but there's something to be said about having to reload each time. That's I don't, right. I don't. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie about it. Yeah. But there's something about it that kind of makes you appreciate the shot. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because you put more work into the shot. You can't just boom, 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 boom out of a clip. Yeah, I mean, it, it really makes you like sit there and take your time and appreciate that shot. Because you know what you got to do. Fuck, i got to reload the whole damn thing. <laughs> I know. I, every time I have a handgun hand hand with the magazine in it, I mean, I apologize. I don't magazine. know the magazine clip, whatever. Um, potato, tomato. Yeah. Um, so anyways, whenever I have one of them, I always hold it sideways. I can't help myself. And then I turn it into two packs secure. <laughs> 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 It's just the gangster in them. I can't help it. So this allows me to aim up a little bit better, and this you know works out a little bit better. And make you know get your best bang for your buck. Exactly. Yeah, you know, every shot is a money shot with one of these. That is right. Now, the other thing I was not expecting, and I know it caught Jim Bob off guard, was the initial first time we shot it, thinking it was probably gonna blow up in our face. The whole time we thought it was gonna blow up in our yeah, face. Yeah, kind of, because we don't know what the hell we're doing. Yep. But it was all the smoke. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of smoke. Yeah, the smoke just comes out of the barrel. Which, obviously, they saw in the video. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it just was not expected. I don't know why. That, that was pretty crazy. Um, the other thing is, these sons of bitches get dirty. Very quickly. Um, I probably got to have a good half hour into cleaning this thing after we were done, because it's just caked with powder and just dirty as hell. Now, at first, he put, like, maybe four or five rounds through it, kind of uh, yeah. getting the sighting together. And from that, it was hard to even push that bullet down yeah. and you had to clean it. Yeah, the ramrod did not want to work. And honestly, this ramrod is not a good ramrod for this pistol. Because no. Look. Yeah. It's probably back to about there now. And it's kind of crappy made, too. So, uh, he got it stuck in there. Yeah. Which we don't have on camera because we want to look cool. Yeah. But I highly recommend you get yourself... An ex another ramrod that's a little bit better quality than the one that comes with it. Oh, yeah. Definitely not half with the one that it comes with. You can get yourself something aftermarket that'll be even cooler, customized, and all that. Now, uh, you said there's a lot of customization on this, right? No. Oh, okay. no. Not at all. Oh, okay, no. Just the uh, rail and the scope. Oh, it. okay. But you could probably get some aftermarket. Uh, yeah, they make aftermarket shit. And uh, different bullets and whatnot. You could probably make an aftermarket grip if you really oh, want to. But like the grip's real nice. Uh, there's yeah. no reason. Um, the last thing I want to touch on yeah. is the difference between a single pellet and two pellets of powder. Yeah. Holy shit. Big difference. Um, as you saw in the video, um, I knew it was going to be something. I did not expect that. I mean, it didn't jump up on me much because when I was holding it, I was holding it like that. It's the ergonomics of the gun, too. Yeah, so I mean, it was a comfortable shoot. I mean, and it kicked like hell. But it didn't kick up on me. But I mean, there's a lot of weight there too. But it was just like the pressure. Like the, is, is it oh. kind of like hitting the aluminum baseball bat off of cement? Um, you ever do that? You do, whoa, 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 and you have this ringing through your whole body. Uh, I never did that. It's kind of kind of like a high. It might be kind of <laughs> yeah, a little bit natural. It's like getting. It's it's a difference between like if a guy kicks up on you and rears up on you. It's like getting punched in the face. This is more like a heart punch from like wow. fucking Brett Michaels. You know what I mean? Wow. Brett Michaels. It's like, oh, boom. Wow. Boom. It just fucking shook I you. Didn't even know Brett Michaels did heart punch. Yeah, I mean, he was wow. famous for it. I didn't know that. I thought that was Bruce Lee. Jeez, no, aim it over there, you asshole. All right, well. All right, so. Uh, it's about time to finish this one up. Final thoughts. I really like it. All right, well, that was it. We'll all see right. you next time for another edition of um, Shooting Shit with Jim Bob and Clint. Yep. I, what the hell is this? Whiskey Tracker Gun Regions. Yeah, we got a whole that's song for it and everything. Yeah, I'm a little drunk. All right, well, we'll see you guys later. All right, let's get a drink. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. This right here is the Traditions Vortec Pistol, 50 caliber. Now, that Traditions is trademarked, you know. The barrel is 13-inch, ultralight, chromoly, tapered barrel. Wow. That's uh, corrosion protection. It's premium uh, Cherokee fish, something like that. And that carrot tote is uh, trademarked also. Uh, pistol stock is a black composite stock. The accelerator breech plug? Yeah, it's got one. The pistol frame construction is a LT1 alloy frame. Oh, that's almost like a uh, Corvette there, LT engineer. It is. Oh, yeah. All right. The twist rate is a 1 in 28 rate of twist. Oh, wow. Drilled and tapered for scope rail. That's a yes. Sights? 
Not included in this bad boy. The scope rail is a Weaver style scope rail. The overall length of this son of a bitch is 18 inches. Uh, the ignition is a 209 primer ignition. The trigger pull factory set at 4 pounds. Psh, the total weight's 3.25 pounds. Loading? Eh, it's a speed load system. I am a dexterous hammer extension. Extended spur. The safety system is a dual safety, rebound and hammer, and a trigger block. Solid aluminum ramrod? That's a yes. Maximum powder charge? 70 grain. Tradition's lifetime warranty. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Fucking good. Mmm. That's still rolling? Yeah. That's good. Mmm. Mm. Core's, core's a little hard. Don't eat the core, kids. A little bit of dirt. I like how it's a little warmed up. That's enough. <laughs>